Yet out comes Santa Claus, invited in by Ecuadorian authorities to come take Assange out to, to wrap him up, put him in the back of a, a paddy wagon, probably for using a knife without a license. And uh, what do you know? He finally got arrested. Seven years. Seven fucking years in that embassy, or roughly that. Since 2012, 2013, he's been holed up in there with his conditions gradually worsening over time. I think with the newly elected uh, Ecuadorian president back in, what was it, 2016, 2017, uh, kind of put his foot down. Said, Assange, you've got to start washing your own balls and cleaning your bathroom and taking care of your cat. You're a stone in our shoe. And sure enough, a year later, a year later, and uh, President, is it Lenin? Of course, how fitting. President Lenin allows uh, British authorities to come in and to arrest Assange. And it's just, it's surreal. Now, from what I understand, what WikiLeaks has been tweeting and other people uh, from Assange's lawyers to different uh, political commentators, it's part of a U.S. extradition. So it's not just uh, him and his bail concerns. Uh, he's probably going to be extradited to the U.S., so I don't, I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's developing quickly. I know that there's a press conference coming up pretty soon here where they're going to talk about the charges, and then I, I'm fairly certain his legal team is going to be giving a statement after that. Uh, but I thought we could look at the coverage kind of as it unfolds. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of what's going on. I understand what Assange does. I know what WikiLeaks does. I know they're a thorn in the side of multiple governments around the world. Uh, but when you look at what he's being targeted for, at least in relation to the U.S., I think it has to do with Chelsea Manning and publishing information that was given to them. So, essentially, it's a journalist getting punished for publishing information they've been given. But I don't think you're going to see a lot of mainstream media sources say anything about that. I don't think they're going to go with that narrative. Assange Bad is going to be the narrative. Assange, the sex offender from Sweden who ran into the embassy to hide out for seven years, or something along those lines from the CNNs and the MSNBCs and the Fox Newses. And uh, it, it is a crazy situation. And before he hangs himself in the cell, uh, well, he could have an accident. There might be some barbells that fall from the sky. Maybe he commits suicide with two shotgun blasts to the back of the head. I know that's a popular method. I know there was a DNC employee uh, who decided to commit suicide out in the streets by himself in the middle of daylight and have nothing taken off his body with two gunshots to the back of the head. Tragic case. Maybe that'll befall Assange. I couldn't tell you. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I think the next 48 hours are going to be the most interesting. I think in the next 48 hours we're going to find out, one, is he going to be extradited right away? Uh, two, is there a dead man switch? I, I know there's uh, a lot of speculation and talk about, well, he's got information caches out there. If anything ever happened to him or ever happened to WikiLeaks, that information is going to be released to the public. The keys are going to be given out. You can go unlock it. And all the dirty secrets that have been held over these world powers for years and years and years are finally in the hands of the people and they can use that information however they see fit. Uh, I, I don't see a better time, potentially, to use that kind of leverage. Uh, I don't know what that kind of information cache is going to have to it. Or if it even really exists. It could have been just the ultimate bluff. I mean, we'll talk about that in the keys, and there's some weird shit with the PGP that went on like three years back. So I, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Let me just check to see if the press conference has started yet. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're already, they're already press. Uh, there, there's a ton of press circling the building. There are protesters out there right now. Uh, they're waiting for him. Uh, it says Julian Assange expected at the magistrate's court after arrest. And everybody is there. They're, they're waiting to find out more information. They're waiting to find out what the fuck is going on. But yeah, this, this sprang up just seemingly out of nowhere. I saw this uh, earlier this morning. Uh, WikiLeaks, Edward Snowden, and other people were just talking about it right as it happened. Uh, yeah, arrested by UK police. So let me let me pull some of this stuff up. We'll read through some of it while we wait for the press conference outside the magistrate's court to begin. I don't know. I, I just it gives me just with all the the censorship that we're under right now, with the amount of control that's being put on people from government sources, from corporate sources. It's just it's another fucking thing, right? It's not enough that you're censored and kicked off platforms. It's not enough that people have their financial futures screwed with now you've got people that are publishing state secrets that were granted amnesty that are now suddenly in authorities hands that are going to be extradited for purely political means and put before a court on trumped up charges and thrown into a cell for bullshit reasons it just it feels like uh, the walls are closing in
you know, with the New Zealand shooting, you kind of saw what uh, social media could do in relation to quieting down a subject and going after people talking about it. And now you've got uh, this whistleblower and this whistleblower organization, WikiLeaks, that are right in the crosshairs. And it, it, it's just the timing of it is interesting. Uh, this will, there will be a vengeful harvest, somebody said in chat. Uh, well, I'm not sure who's going to be doing the harvesting. So uh, let, me, let me just get this set up. I'll pull it up on screen here. Uh, here we go. So this is from WikiLeaks Timeline. Uh, this is what it started with earlier on. Three to four hours ago, Assange has been arrested for extradition to the United States for publishing. Uh, that is what they're talking about. Uh, they, ha they have some footage, too. We'll take a look at the footage as well of his arrest and him screaming out, resist. He, he's kept screaming out, resist, as they're putting him into the back of the police van, uh, which was, again, interesting. Uh, Julian Assange will be taken to the Wed er, Westminster Magistrates Court this afternoon. He's been arrested under a U.S. extradition warrant for a conspiracy with Chelsea Manning for publishing classified information revealing war crimes in 2010. How fitting that of all the things to bring down WikiLeaks, it's not the Russian government, it's not the Chinese oligarchs, it's not the American corporations, it's a man in a dress. Of all, all the world's powers combined, pale in comparison to one insane person who wants to wear a dress and has somehow brought down Julian Assange through just sheer association. Well done, Chelsea. Well done. Uh, Assange has been arrested in relation to a U.S. extradition request for conspiracy with Chelsea Manning for publishing Iraq war logs, Cablegate, Afghan war logs, precisely for the prosecution for which he was granted asylum under the 1951 Refugee Convention in 2012. <laughs> yes, I, I share that sentiment, Chad. I can see what you're saying. U.S. Attorney for Assange, Barry Pollock, statement on Assange arrest on behalf of the U.S. in relation to the 2010 publications. It is bitterly disappointing that a country would allow someone to whom it is extended citizenship and asylum to be arrested in the embassy. First and foremost, we hope that the U.K. will now give Mr. Assange access to proper health care, which he has since been denied for seven years. Once his health care needs have been addressed, the U.K. courts will need to resolve his appearance to be an unprecedented effort by the United States seeking to extradite a foreign journalist to face criminal charges for publishing truthful information. So you can already see the defense that they're going to be going for and what they're going to be bringing up uh, kind of in the public arena for what they feel uh, the reasons for the arrest were and how they want to try to frame it to get people talking about it. WikiLeaks editor Christine Hrafstensen and UK lawyer for Assange Jennifer Robinson will be making a statement outside Westminster Magistrates Court after Assange's hearing has concluded, which we are waiting for right now. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be, let me just pull up, uh, I'll pull up the video of his arrest. Uh, we'll take a look at some clips from that. Because uh, he got he got pulled in, and I think we've got my good friend. Looks like he's got uh, that information up there. Let's pull this up. Okay, here we go. Let's pull this up. Uh, this was Assange right as he was getting arrested. Roughly put up the footage. The UK must resist. You must resist the extradition by Trump to the United States. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they've pretty much bent the knee. I don't know what the fuck is going on in Ecuador. I know they elected a leftist. I know that once he got into office, he started bitching immediately about Assange being a pain in the ass and a stone in his shoe. I know that he talked about uh, how Mr. Assange needed to basically shut the fuck up, stay off social media. They cut off his internet access, uh, cut off his access to other things, demanded he pay for his own electricity, demanded he clean. Uh, just a lot of little things. I think they were already trying to apply pressure to him very early on. Uh, and that didn't work, of course, because what is he going to do? Where is he going to go? He's got to put up with it. Uh, then pictures started getting circulated by uh, different entities out on social media and uh, Ecuador was upset, saying that he was smuggling out pictures and he was violating their request to stay off social media. And it just kept escalating and escalating. And here, they let him in. Uh, this wasn't Assange walking out. This was Ecuadorian officials opening the fucking door and letting UK police come inside and arrest him and drag him out in handcuffs. So, and I'm fairly certain they didn't just grant him asylum. I think they gave him citizenship, too, a year ago. 
So, you know, if he's got asylum status and citizenship, I could be wrong about the citizenship, but I know that he had asylum status, they just let him take him. I mean, I, I, it's fucking stunning, to be honest with you. I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to take that. You could never go to Ecuador if you want political asylum because it's going to, whenever it's convenient for them, they're going to turn you over to the people you're running from. So God help you if you pick that country to try to hide out and you're fucked. You are absolutely unequivocally fucked. All right, let me put this up. We'll, we'll keep the press conference that we're waiting for up on screen while we wait for all the crazy shit to unfold. Okay, I think that's the right one. And uh, we'll just, we'll kill a little time and talk, chat, and then wait for this to, to pop up. Again, this is outside the magistrate's court. Uh, they're waiting for a press conference to be given, talking about Assange's, uh, I, I guess, charges and what's going to happen to him. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I see people talking about, th there are people that are celebrating this. I've seen a lot on Twitter. A lot of blue check marks talking about how this is great. Assange isn't above the law, and fuck Assange, and Assange had it coming. Uh, a lot of people even go back to the bullshit Swedish charges that were dropped, the rape allegations that were dropped, saying that he's a sex offender, that he deserves this. Um, it, it's just, it's surreal. It's surreal watching it. It's very, it's very interesting. WikiLeaks is one of those kind of entities that exists that political parties will praise when it's convenient for them and then throw them under a bus when they become a problem. I've seen the Democrats do it, at least talking from an American's perspective. I've seen the Democrats do it. I've seen the Republicans do it. Oh, if he's helping us out, if they're helping us out, if it's hitting somebody we don't like, we love him. It's great. Let him talk. But the moment it becomes inconvenient, fuck this guy. We need to have him arrested. We need to have him extradited and have to have him face justice. And these, these fair-weather fucks on Twitter, uh, these, these liberals and leftists and even right-wingers who are, who are celebrating this, you know, you're spineless little fuckers. You can't praise and support the guy, and then, when it's convenient, shit on him. It's, uh, a, a, it's a bit scummy, at least in my opinion. Uh, people talking about, is Trump going to pardon him? And there's no way Trump is going to pardon him. I mean, this, this order was signed, and they said 2017, so Trump is already in, in office. He's, you know, it's a DOJ under him. And I'm not sure if he's personally involved in it, but I can't see him pardoning Assange. I think this is one of those things where the U.S. feels embarrassed enough by the amount of information that's been published after being leaked that uh, they're not going to let him go. They're not going to let this guy go. Some people saying the left are defending him. Well, I mean, I've been seeing both. I've been seeing a lot of people not defending him. A lot of people celebrating it, uh, being real smug fucks about it. Assange did nothing wrong. Well, technically he did do things wrong. Uh, but what I find stunning is the fact that the Ecuadorian officials uh, and the Ecuadorian government is going to bend the knee to the UK so the UK can extradite him to the US. Seems a bit uh, strange to me. Oh, yeah, and people were bringing up what book did he have? Because when he got dragged out, in fact, do I, is it captured in the picture I put up as the background? Let me see. Okay, yeah, you can kind of see in his hand. Uh, it's one by, I believe, Gore Vidal, talking about Deep State. At least that's what people were saying it was. So, I mean, I guess that's a subtle nod to, hey, holy shit, I'm fucked. Uh, take a look. This is what's going to happen to me. I'm going to get gang raped by the authorities and the powers that be, and there's nothing I can do about it. I don't know what's up with that look. He's like a white Saddam Hussein, you know, when they dragged his ass out of that hole. That's kind of the look he's got going on. Did they, did they cut off his bathroom supplies and his shampoo in the fucking Ecuadorian embassy? Was he, like, living out of a sink? They have to defecate in a bucket? He's looking all disheveled. Maybe he knew it was coming. Maybe he was just under a lot of stress. I couldn't tell you. Uh, but he came out of that looking like he'd been living in the fucking mountains for about ten decades. Assange the Grey? Yes. Assange the Grey. Uh, taken away by the authorities. Alright, let's go back and see. Let's see what they're saying. Yeah, you can hear a very small amount of protesters out there. I'm not trying to make it seem like there's a large crowd gathered, but you can hear them vocally in the back. So he does have some supporters there, but the majority of people you're seeing are all press. Like the vultures they are, they've come to devour the fucking corpse of Julian Assange and to spit out and regurgitate their shitty news coverage. Uh, probably celebrating it. You know, I'm split on what their opinion on is uh, on this all is. 
I think it's kind of half and half. I think half of them don't like him, so they're glad to see this happen. And the other half are upset that he beat them to scoops they would have wanted to publish themselves in newspapers and on online segments and television segments. But I don't feel like there's a lot of love. I mean, you saw Snowden tweeting about it. I'm sure Apple Bombs talked about it. I don't know what Manning said about it. The last time I paid attention to Chelsea Manning was when uh, he threatened suicide on Twitter by posting a picture of himself standing on a ledge saying, Goodbye, cruel world. Fuck it, I'm out of here. Uh, spoiler alert, never jumped. So, we'll see. You know, let's actually take a look at what the coverage has been. How how fair has the coverage been to Julian Assange now that he's arrested? Because stories are popping up everywhere. I mean, you've got The Guardian, CNN, New York Times. They're all using the photo of him. I like how they're using the most recent photo to make him look as insane as possible. They're not going to go with any other picture of him from the last seven years. They're going to go with the one that makes him look like Santa Claus on methamphetamine got pulled out of a southern mall after taking his shit and, I don't know, a, a fucking Easter display or something and scaring the children. So let's see what the New York Times is saying. Pull this up here. Julian Assange charged by U.S. with government or er, with conspiracy to hack a government computer. Julian Assange, the founder of WikiLeaks, was arrested Thursday at the Ecuadorian embassy in London, where he had been uh, sheltered, yes, yeah, since 2012, so roughly seven years. The United States has charged WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange with one count of conspiracy to hack a computer related to his role in the 2010 release of reams of secret American documents, according to an indictment unsealed Thursday, just hours after British authorities arrested him in London. Looks like they've got the document here, too. Take a look at that. Eastern District of Virginia. Grand jury. Okay, here's the indictment itself. At times, this, uh, at times, material to this indictment, Chelsea Manning, formerly known as Bradley Manning, with an intelligence analyst in the United States Army, was deployed to a Ford operating base, Hammer, in Iraq. Manning held a top-secret clearance and signed a classified information non-disclosure agreement, acknowledging that unauthorized disclosure or retention or negligent handling of classified information could cause irreparable injury to the United States or be used to the advantage of foreign nation. Executive Order 13526 and its predecessor orders define the classification levels assigned to classified... En okay, we, we understand the... Let's see. Julian Paul Assange was the founder and leader of WikiLeaks website. The WikiLeaks website currently submiss er, solicited submissions of classified, censored, or other restricted information. Assange, who did not possess a security clearance or need to know, was not authorized to receive the material of the United States... Between, in, or around January 10, or 2010 to May 2010, Manning downloaded four nearly complete databases from departments and agencies in the United States, containing 90,000 Afghanistan war-related uh, activity reports, 400,000 from Iraq, 800 Guantanamo Bay detainee uh, assessment briefs, and a quarter of a million U.S. Department of State cables. Many of these records were classified pursuant, and of course, so what exactly are they hitting him for? Assange agreed to assist Manning and crack, okay, here we go. Uh, on or about March 8, 2010, Assange agreed to assist Manning in cracking a password stored on the United States Dep or Department of Defense computers connected to the secret Internet Protocol Network. A United States government network used for classified documents and communications is designated... Okay. Manning, who had access to the computers in connection with her duties and an intelligence analyst, was also using computers to download classified reports. So they're saying that he was part of the hacking. That it wasn't just that Manning gave him the information. That Assange, the super hacker, we'll call him Acid Rain decided to uh, to show some elite fucking elite hack skills. Like, maybe, <laughs> how did that conversation go? Hey, Manning, before you put that dress on, pretty girl, download this low-orbit ion cannon software I've got. It's fucking wild, man. You're going to totally be able to take on the American government with it. Trust me. There's no malware on it. Don't use antivirus. Totally fucking safe. The portion of the password Manning gave to Assange to crack was stored at a hash value in a computer file accessible only by users with administrative level privileges. Manning did not have these privileges and used special software, namely a Linux operating system, to access the computer file and obtain the portion of the password provided to Assange. Cracking the password would have allowed Manning to log onto the computers under a username that did not belong to her. Okay, and so this is what they're hitting him with. Is there anything, is there any more detail? Oh, count one. So that gives you a basic idea of what's going on. The single charge, conspiracy to commit computer intrusion, stems from what prosecutors said was his agreement to break a password to a classified United States government computer. 
It is not an espionage charge, a significant detail that will come to as a relief to press freedom advocates. The United States government had considered until at least last year charging with espionage-related offenses. Mr. Assange, 47, has been living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London since 2012. British authorities arrested him after he was evicted by the Ecuadorians. The Metropolitan Police said Mr. Assange had been de er, detained partly. In, uh, well, with the, okay, so the extradition. Talks about his birthplace, talks about other things. So that gives you an idea of what the fuck is going on. So our lead hacker, you can see him right there, Acid. Well, he helped uh, Chelsea with some lead hacks. You know, only the cool shit, only the cool shit people know. Not sure what hacking form he got it from, but hooked the girl up. Said, hey, why don't we take, let's take down the government, man. Here's my hacking software, Chelsea. You do you, and I'll publish that shit. That's what, that's the story they're going with. Trying to avoid all the espionage shit and just say he's a hacker. <laughs> of all the things, he's a hacker that trained Chelsea Manning to hack. And not just uh, receiving information. Brilliant. I can see it. I can see it as the devious hacker Julian Assange. Hacker in charge. Oh, that's a dangerous man. He looks like he's been living in mom's basement. That's the look of a neat. Maybe that's why they waited till now. Look at him. All disheveled. Doesn't shower. Playing World of Warcraft until 2 in the morning. This man's a danger. Publishing state secrets. Teaching transgenders how to hack. We need to take him down. Throw him in the back of the van. Let's extradite his ass to the U.S. so they can behead him. Oh, I see chat. Some people think that they guessed the password. <laughs> what do you think the government password was? I'm going to say it's security clearance 1234. Sounds about on par with what a fucking secret government computer password would be. Or maybe it was, maybe it's a classic don't hack me bro. Username, username, secret government agent, password, don't hack me, bro. I don't know how they crack that. That's a devious one to get around. <laughs> or, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Oh, let's see. Has WikiLeaks put up any more information? I'm still waiting for the press conference to begin here. Uh, we can we can take a look at a few past stories while we wait for the West or the magistrate to do what they're going to do. Maybe take a look at the. Well, I, I guess anybody that thought he was a hologram, you're blown the fuck out now. I know a lot of people had said, "Oh, he's dead," and he's replaced with a hologram. I remember that was a thing for like a year. Pretty sure that's not a hologram. Pretty sure that's Julian Assange that got dragged out of the fucking embassy. So you lost you lost that one. You gotta you gotta give that one up. Somebody thinking. It's admin one two three four. Clearly, our government, our super spy government, that I could picture them using that as a password to protect their super secrets. I wonder what they use at the nuclear missile silos. <laughs> I wonder what the username and the password of the fucking nuclear sites are. Uh, let's see. Uh, death from above. I'm gonna guess is the username, and the password is big boom boom. So God help us if the if the super hacker Julian Assange ever finds out the password to the nuclear missile silos is big boom boom because we're all gonna die WikiLeaks will publish those and that's game over man fucking acid what are you doing game over man oh do you think that's what the password is somebody said boomer cost I don't, I don't, uh, I'm not sure is that how they're gonna take care of all that retirement uh, that whole generation of people needing social security, just a couple of missiles and call it a day, perhaps. Uh, Glenn Greenwald's tweeting out, The DOJ says part of what Assange did to justify his prosecution beyond allegedly helping Manning get the documents is he encouraged Manning to get more documents for him to publish. Journalists do this with sources constantly. It's the criminalization of journalism. I wonder where he pulled this from. Uh, the discussions also reflect Assange actively encouraging Manning to provide more information during the exchange. Manning told Assange that after this upload, that's all I've got left. To which Assange replied, curious eyes never run dry in my experience. That, okay, that doesn't sound like he's in... That, <laughs> okay, so you're Julian Assange sitting at fucking WikiLeaks and you've got people leaking you all these classified cables to talk about all this sorts of fucked up shit. And the person giving it to you says, yeah, that's, that's all I got, man. I've super hacked them as much as I can super hack them. I've got no more. To which he says, uh, okay, 
Curious eyes never run dry in my experience. Doesn't sound like he's saying, Chelsea, you get fucking back in there. Okay, you take my super hacks with you. You bring me more secret information. It just sounds like an offhanded remark. It doesn't sound like encouragement to me. Assange is a criminal. Yeah. That's the that's the narrative they're going to go with. Uh, Ewan McCaskill. U.S. did not waste any time putting an extradition request for Assange. Terrible pr or president if journalist publisher ends up in jail uh, for Iraq war logs and State Department cables. You know, somebody brought the point up earlier today, too, and I think it's a it's a fairly relevant one and on point. They said, OK, well, you've got you've got Assange getting extradited to the U.S. because they feel that he's publishing information he shouldn't be doing. What's to stop another country from claiming that about a U.S. journalist? If somebody writes a story about China, somebody writes a story about Russia. I mean, should they be allowed to be extradited because they violated uh, whatever their laws are in regards to publishing secrets? I, <laughs> you know, I just... It's not something I think journalists want to hang their fucking hat on. I think it's going to blow up in your face if you try to go with the the popular opinion that this is totally cool, bro. This is not a big deal. Everything's, everything's fucking honky-dory over here. All right, let me just try to... Let me try to pull up some more stuff as we wait here. Uh, there are a few super chats. I'll read those. Again, we're waiting for the magistrate press conference. Hopefully that should start fairly soon here. All right. Oh, oh, we've got a protester. We got we got two protesters out there with their sign saying free Assange. That's not really the biggest crowd you would expect. I mean, if this had happened, let's say, three years ago or four years ago, you'd have a fuck ton of people out there. You know, there would be a massive crowd. Part of me wonders if they waited long enough to hope that support died down enough that there wouldn't be massive counter-protests and massive people out there flinging shit about him getting arrested and pulled out of the Ecuadorian embassy. I, I don't know. What are they chanting? U.S., U.K., your time's almost up? I, I guess? I don't know. Again, we're waiting for the press conference at the magistrate where hopefully we'll hear from his son. Well, we'll hear what the charges are and then we'll hear from his legal representation talking about whatever the fuck is going on. Do you need a license to protest in the UK? I couldn't tell you. I know that uh, if any of those people have a butter knife on them, they're probably going to spend the next 20 years in their equivalent of Sing Sing. Well, let's see, WikiLeaks put up some more information. In fact, well, you know, Snowden's been talking about this all morning. Let's go see what he's even saying on this. Uh, Press Association Julian Assange has been found guilty of breaking his bail at Westminster Magistrates Court and faces a jail sentence of up to 12 months when he is sentenced at Crown Court. Oh, so it's already it's already done. All right, so they're saying he's been found guilty, the UK at least, in regards to that. He's been found guilty already of breaching bail and faces a jail sentence of up to 12 months when he's sentenced at Crown Court. That that was very quick. He got arrested an hour ago. He's already been sentenced to a year, basically. Boy, they're sure, they're sure pushing this one through as fucking fast as they can, aren't they? Gotta make sure we get his ass just locked up and fucking put in a corner. Uh, David K. Many Americans and others look at the arrest of Julian Assange as a kind of accountability for him in WikiLeaks in context of a potential extradition to U.S. I urge people to put aside their feelings and consider two questions. Looks like he wrote an article in New York Times about it. The weakness of the U.S. charge against Assange is shocking. The allegation he tried and failed to help crack a password during their world-famous reporting has been publicly or has been public for nearly a decade. It is account Obama's DOJ refused the charge, saying it endangered journalism. It feels extraordinarily weak to me that that's what the charge is. That I mean, uh, what world are we living in where Julian Assange, of all the things to get arrested for? of all things to get extradited for, is being a fucking hacker. <laughs> I need to change the background picture to suit this. Let me find a super hacker picture, because we're talking about Julian Assange. What's my, what's my super hacker? Oh, you know, that one probably could do. Pull this, pull this image out. Yeah, that, that'll do. Let me just add this in here. 
I mean, we need to, I want you to understand what Julian does. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, there he is. Pictured here is Julian Assange talking to Chelsea Manning on the phone. Here's what happened. I'm going to put together the United States case against him. This is their secret surveillance from, I don't know, Operation Penguin Fucker? Let's just call it the NSA operation where they spy on everything that. Why not? So secret footage uncovered from Operation Penguin Fucker of notorious super hacker Julian Assange pictured here talking with Chelsea Manning about how to hack super government computers. Assange is quoting as saying, now you're fucking playing with power, as he talked to Chelsea on the phone. Using his old-fashioned keyboard, he was able to break into United States missile silos and change the password to, you've been hacked, ha ha ha, Julian owns you. U.S. officials are extraordinarily upset about this and looking forward to the extradition. Look at how dangerous he is. Hack the planet, man. <laughs> Just, are they going to, hey, WikiLeaks, if you want to raise money, hey, here you go, I'll give you a free one, WikiLeaks, if you want to raise money for Assange in his legal defense, just get a picture of him looking all disheveled with the fucking phrase, hack the planet around it and sell it on a t-shirt. <laughs> You'll raise millions of dollars. You'll be able to pay for his legal defense. Who doesn't want to be a part of Julian Assange's hacker cabal? The guys that took down the U.S. government. Oh, look at those eyes. That's a dangerous man. And somebody you don't want to fuck with. Oh. Well, I, okay, what is his coverage then? If Assange has already been found guilty, which is ridiculous, but if he's already got a 12-month sentence hanging over his head, is his press conference merely to talk about him getting extradited then? I mean, I guess that's possible. Uh, you know, is there any more? Any, let me find out. Let's let's keep it going and find out what the newest, latest breaking news on Super Hacker Julian is. Uh, here we go. Okay, yeah, removed from the. Uh, okay, it's still it's still not caught up. So I guess the press association was there on the ground and was able to find out that information. Yeah, that's from an hour ago. Even I'm behind. That. It's moving so quickly. It's moving so quickly. It reminds me of what happened to Tommy Robinson. You remember when he got basically picked up on some bullshit charge and then brought in front of the courts and was like sentenced instantly? The same thing that, I again, I don't know the UK legal system that much. But it was like in the blink of a fucking eye. It was like, hey, we're bringing your ass in. Boom, you're guilty. Fucking a year in jail or whatever. Same thing they just did to Assange. Hey, we're we're dragging your ass in, 12 months in jail, fuck you, and we're going to extradite you to the U.S. Now, are they going to keep him for a year before they do that? Is he going to get the full year term? I, I, I don't know. That's kind of why I'm hoping this press conference goes forward so we get some kind of an idea of what the fuck is going on. Somebody saying in chat, Trump owes him one. Uh, yeah, I'll be very disappointed in Trump if he uh, if he comes out supportive of this. I understand that he's a president, so he's got to say certain things in regards to people obviously sharing state secrets, but it would be depressing. Let's just say that. From Omega Third, or Om I'm sorry, Omega's Thirteen, actual journalism is criminalized. The only news we are allowed to receive is propaganda. Honk honk. Yeah, that's pretty fucking accurate. If it's if it's going with the narrative, if it's saying the message that people want to hear, you can say, you know, outrageous things. Uh, take the Covington kids, the uh, Catholic school kids. They, I think it was Covington. You remember when that broke, what the fucking media did with that? They took uh, selected footage and made it seem like they're super racist, and it was all bullshit. They were dealing with black Israelites and an insane Native American man. And now they're getting sued, but they, they feel untouchable, like they can do anything. And then you've got anybody that wants to talk about something that's outside of that. And uh, yeah, it's criminalized. You can't do it. It's a, it's a no-no. I don't even know if you can do investigative journalism anymore and actually do investigative journalism. you got to bend the knee to somebody at some point. Milk my man titties, great username. The world must have ended in 2012. The simulation is crashing. Uh, that is a very real possibility. Veggie Bad Assange got arrested due to his failure to display his meme license. 
It's also a possibility. I mean, you know, maybe maybe he got computer access again and he was watching pornography and because he can't leave the Ecuadorian embassy, he wasn't able to go to a newsstand and get a masturbation license. Because again, remember in the UK, that's coming up. If you want to touch yourself, you need a fucking license to do it now. And so they got him on that early. And that's really what's going on. Masturbation without permission. Shameful. Dark secret. Uh, the euphoria answer. How dumb are Trumplets in chat? From his inauguration, Trump has stated he wants Assange and Snowden in Gitmo. He's got Manning and Assange in prison. Yeah, I, actually, you know, what is Chelsea Manning doing right now? Uh, let's let's find out what he is up to. I don't know their, their Twitter account name off the top of my head, but let's go see what they're actually saying. Oh, great. Well, it's good to see that Chelsea's so supportive of fucking Assange because... Hasn't said anything since April 4th. <laughs> Best of luck. Chelsea is extremely grateful for everyone's support. While this is a big win, there's still a road ahead of us to get her out of jail. Please donate to Chelsea's legal fund so her lawyers can continue to work on her appeal and bring her home. Update. After 28 days in so-called administrative, or administrative segregation, solitary confinement, Chelsea has finally been moved into general population at Trudale Detention Center. Okay, you, you want something? Here, let's let's go with this. Chelsea Manning's in solitary confinement, awaiting trial on more charges. Chelsea Manning is sitting there in solitary confinement for, as they said, 28 days. That's on April 4th. They finally get removed from administrative segregation, and magically, Julian Assange is now getting extradited on a charge that he taught Chelsea Manning how to hack. So did Manning roll over on Assange? Is that what this is? They put him in a cell long enough that he gave them what they wanted so they could go to the UK authorities and Ecuadorian authorities and say, look, Assange didn't just publish it. He's a hacker. We've got extra information now from Chelsea Manning that they gave us. I don't know. The, the timing of that is awfully coincidental. Uh, people saying, aren't they in jail? Yeah, I'm reading the Twitter account, which is used by a handler. I'm going to guess somebody who's in a family associate, a friend, maybe legal representation. Her, him. We know who we're talking about. I'm sorry. I, I alternate. My point is, is che did Chelsea Manning roll over on Assange, and did that play a role in why Assange is now being extradited and arrested? 28 days in the hole, suddenly released from the hole, and a few days later, Assange is getting arrested. Interesting, too, because didn't WikiLeaks immediately come out and say Assange is going to get arrested really early in April? Almost like they knew that Manning rolled over on Assange. In fact, you know what? I'm going to back up. I'm going to go look and find when that fucking uh, tweet from them was, where they're talking about how uh, they're fairly certain Assange is going to be fucked. Let's see what date that is. And what that lines up on, because I bet you it's really close to the fourth. Let's see. Got to scroll past quite a bunch of bullshit to find it, but we will. Maybe if I look on their timeline. I, I'm 100% certain I saw that much, much earlier in the week. Oh, here we go! Okay. Beautiful. Do you know when WikiLeaks said that a high-level source uh, told them that Assange was going to get arrested? April 4th. Do you know when Manning's account tweeted that they were finally let out of administration, uh, administrative segregation? April 4th. So the day that Manning gets out of the hole is the day that WikiLeaks says Assange is going to be arrested. What a remarkable coincidence. What a remarkable coincidence. In fact, how long is the time separation between these two statements? Well, Manning's account uh, tweeted out, uh, her handler, his handler tweeted out on uh, noon at 12.30 that, uh, you know, what do you know, Manning's been let out of the hole. Two hours later, WikiLeaks is saying Assange is going to get arrested. What a coincidence. Really makes you think, doesn't it? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Assange the super hacker has been betrayed by Mr. Man and Address Manning so they could get out of naughty confinement. What, what do you know? Now, I, that's all. That's pure speculation on my part. I couldn't tell you. Uh, did the press conference end already? 
I'm sitting here waiting for these people, and it looks like it might have gone tits up. I'm sorry, chat. We got so sidetracked with the conspiracy theory. I that I find I find this really fascinating. In fact, let's take a closer look at this. I just want you to see this, so you know that I'm not I'm not making up the times or or the dates of these particular tweets. Uh, let's move that. Uh, this is the Manning tweet. After 28 days in so-called segregation, so-called administrative uh, administrative segregation, solitary confinement, Chelsea has been moved into general population at Truesdale Detention Center at 12:32 p.m. the 4th of April, 2019. Two hours later, 12:43 p.m. April 4th, 2019. Uh, what do you know? A story up on WikiLeaks breaking. A high-level source within the Ecuadorian state has told WikiLeaks that Assange will be expelled within hours to days using the INA papers offshore scandal as a pretext and that already has an agreement with the UK for his arrest. Within the span of two hours after Manning being released from solitary confinement, they're saying Assange is going to get arrested. So I ask you, did Manning roll over on Assange? Is that what fucking happened? Is it one of the top 10 anime betrayals, chat? You might be right, Admex uh, Fang. That might be one of the very top of, uh, tippity top of anime betrayals that's ever fucking happened. I don't know. That, 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 uh, that's really remarkable when you line those two events up. Really, just a coincidence, Goy, people are saying in chat? May, you might be right. You might be right. How could you betray this super hacker? Look at him. There's Julian doing what he loves, hacking into video. He loves video games. People don't know this about Assange, but he puts that power glove on and he hacks into video games and fucks with people in multiplayer. That's what his day is. And here's Manning betraying that trust, naming names to get out of solitary confinement like a fucking snitch, like a little rat. Can't take the heat. Let me out of solitary confinement. Manning, you got no balls. Well, I don't know if you've had the surgery yet or not, but I'm just going to say metaphorically, you got no balls. You're not a papillon, motherfucker. Oh, 28 days is too hard in my air-conditioned cell. Try getting stuck in a 3 by 3 on fucking Tropical Hell Island and come whine to me about that. Name and names. Shameful. Shameful. Sanch did nothing wrong. Innocent boy. Got betrayed. Got betrayed by somebody he taught to super hack. Disgusting. Rick Nikita, Medicare Investigative Reporting. And he made titles. How long until Manning gets shivved for being a rat? I, you know, again, it's pure speculation. I have no evidence other than this remarkable coincidence that immediately upon being released from solitary confinement after being held in it for 28 days, WikiLeaks is suddenly saying Julian Assange is going to be arrested. And here we are a week later, and Julian Assange has been arrested. And they didn't break in. The Ecuadorians opened the fucking door for him. Brought him out, and within an hour, he's been charged and found guilty of a uh, uh, bail breach and sentenced to up to 12 months. And now we're talking about a U.S. extradition for teaching Manning how to super hack? This is all very strange. You know, and people were, uh, what was it, um, uh, not Applebaum, Jesus Christ, Snowden. Snowden and others were saying earlier on, well, this is a charge that um, the Ob or Obama administration wouldn't touch. Well, maybe they didn't touch it because they didn't have Manning giving secret testimony. Again, wild speculation, but that timing is very coincidental. Maybe that charge looks better because now they've got somebody to corroborate their bullshit story. Uh, Lord Matt 48 they're blacklisting anything not mainstream on this. I uploaded a 20-second test clip video, and it was instantly unavailable. I have heard that. People have been saying that they've tried to make videos talking about Assange arrest, uh, talking about the circumstances around it and what they think is going on, and their videos are getting pulled down or put into special you know that little um that condition where you get put into timeout where there are no comments you can't really link it you can't embed it uh you know, there's no like or dislike there's no share button whatever that uh punitive system that youtube has in place i've heard people saying my shit's getting put in that or it's getting pulled down or it's unavailable or or there's some weird glitch and it's it's not uh being able to be played properly uh, Zashra, how many viewers does your account say the stream has? Too many coincidences today and just wanted to be sure. I'm not sure exactly where I'd check that. Um, here, I'll, I'll go look on the watch page and tell you. I can't be 100% certain. Hearing myself. 
Uh, what I'm seeing right now says 11,103 people watching. And when I look at the little metric system in the back, it says the peak concurrent was 11,173. I'm not sure what you guys are seeing. I couldn't tell you. And I'm not saying that I'm being affected by what other people are claiming they're being affected by because I'm doing a live stream and not a video. But um, I don't know. If you have evidence that's happening, if you're making an Assange video and you're talking about this and you're getting weird shit happening to your account, a screen cap it or, or you know, like do a screen record of it and upload it on social media so people can see it. Because otherwise nobody's going to know what's happening. But if it's happening to enough people, it's not just a weird technical glitch. It's, it's a concentrated effort to keep people from talking about this. From Ronald Rump, how much longer will we throw our arms up and let them screw us in the ass? At least Antifa doesn't sit around peacefully like we do. Everybody's getting fucked in the ass. Right? I mean, that, that's, that's happening across the board at this point. If you compare what you can do and say in real life and on the internet to what you could do and say in real life and on the internet just 10 years ago, it is radically fucking different. And, you know, it's always the same entities. It's it's corporations, it's the government, and it's the useful idiots that, that want to see, you know, totalitarian systems put into place because they think it's beneficial to them, but they don't see it will be applied to them once the people they disagree with are dealt with. When you read stories about uh, people like uh, the Proud Boys, how one of the founders of the Proud Boys had a bank take away his access to his bank account. I mean, it's reached that level. It's not just content creators and fucking morons on YouTube that can't use their PayPal or Patreon or get super berries. It's people in real life with real bank accounts being told, we don't want to associate with you. You can't do business with us because of your political beliefs. That is lunacy. Absolute fucking lunacy. And if that had been a tried or attempted five or ten years ago, people would be up in arms about it. But we've become so complacent. We've been trained so well to take it. You can't bitch. You can't, you can't fight back. We've been quarantined and segregated and broken apart and put in our little fucking hug boxes. And we can't, we can't telephone with each other anymore. You can't go on social media. You're not allowed on Twitter or Facebook to say things that you want to say. You can't put up a YouTube video talking about the shit you want to talk about. You'll be demonetized, depersoned, deplatformed. They'll take your fucking free speech and shove it right up your ass as they take the money out of your wallet and kick you off the fucking internet. So where do you have to go? What refuge do you have left? Do you go to Reddit? Reddit doesn't give a fuck about you. Administration at Reddit is glad to fuck you in the ass. They'll edit your posts. They'll take them down. They'll close subreddits. They will piss in your face. You going to go to 4chan? <laughs> Who's going to hear you over there? They've broken that into two sites. And I have a feeling Hero wants some advertising revenue, so I don't know what's in the pipeline later on for boards like B and Pole and others. But I'd be wary. Are you going to go to 8chan, maybe? I don't even... They're so fucked, I don't even know how to define it. After the fucking New Zealand shooting, they're in the crosshairs of a lot of people. A lot of people. It's Where do you go to complain when every place that you could complain is gone? And the places that are still left to you to voice your dissent are so segregated that the message doesn't get out anywhere. If you don't think that's a lead-up to the next election cycle, you are massively mistaken. 2016, I really think, played a core part in the change in psychology of people that are in charge of a lot of the internet entities that are out there. They are fucking embarrassed that they let Trump get elected, and they are mad about it. And they're going to do every fucking thing in their power to make sure it doesn't happen again. And if they've got to break the fucking internet and take away free association and free speech to do it, they will gladly do it. They do not give a fuck about us. And for those sites that somehow struggle and rise through the shit to maybe try to uh, provide an alternative to this fucking bizarre system that we have in place where a few entities control the majority of outlets, oh, you're going to get fucked too. Look at what happened to a site like Gab, where Microsoft is up there asking, you better remove that post, Gab, or we're going to take away your fucking servers. Where payment processors uh, go to Gab and say, fuck you, no PayPal, fuck you, no credit cards. Look at BitChute had to deal with that shit. And even the, even the companies that you think are the most censorous ones are still getting more pressure applied to them to be even more censorous. I don't think they're 100% on board with the idea. What is it? Is it Jack Conti from Patreon? How many times have you seen a Patreon statement saying, we had to take this person off, not we wanted to, not we agreed we wanted to, not we think they put stuff up that shouldn't be allowed. 
we were told to take them off because MasterCard or Visa said no. Because a bank told us no. Because PayPal said no. You know, competition, alternative platforms that allow you to voice your opinions need to be able to fund themselves. You cut out the money, uh, you, you take away their ability to turn a profit and generate some revenue, they're not competition anymore. They're dead in the fucking water. They've been going after Gab in every conceivable way for a couple years now. I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry, I'm getting a little heated here. I'm getting a little heated here. I need to put back on our picture of, oh, he's still up on screen. Excuse me. There we go. That's calming me down. Look at that beautiful mullet. How does that not calm you down in the face of despair? Uh, BitTube, I have not used BitTube before. It seems like every alternative that gets uh, created is destroyed. Now, maybe that's the curse of the .me domain. Maybe StreamMe and VidMe just accidentally fell into that and should have used a different URL. But every service that I, I seem to like gets fucked with and falls apart. On StreamMe's case, it could have been three or four different reasons. In VidMe's case, they just, they didn't, there was no financial way forward for them. And as much as I dislike DLive, uh, and the crypto mining currency bullshit because I don't want my CPU to explode. I am glad that it exists. You know, maybe PewDiePie going over there with a bunch of people will create a platform that's an alternative. But I, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. But uh, back to your super chat that sent me on a fucking tangent for five to ten minutes. Talking about uh, when are we going to throw our, uh, why do we throw our arms up and take it up the ass? It's because they do it incrementally. Right, it's the frog in boiling water. Uh, it's a death by a thousand cuts. You can enact radical change in a society if you do it gradually and slowly over a long period of time. If if you do it instantly, people will notice what you've done and get upset and fight back. But if you do it very slowly and very gradually and train people along the way to accept it, you'd be amazed at what people will put up with to remain safe and comfortable and not have to buck the system or rock the boat. That's why I said we've all been trained very well. Uh, Huckabee's 22, Russia Gate is dead, so now they're plugging the leaks in the, on the plot hole. Seth Rich died for Hillary's sins. Hashtag justice for the, or Seth Rich. Hashtag yes, Hillary eats babies. <laughs> I'm not sure how many babies Hillary's eaten. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm trying to find I, I, I'm trying to find the press conference that his uh, legal team was going to give. So let me see if I can find that. I'm not sure what organization is this. Yeah, people are trying to advocate for bringing him anywhere else but the U.S. or the U.K. I don't think now that he's in custody, he's going to be going anywhere else. I mean, even if they don't extradite him, they still got him for 12 months in a U.K. prison, and then what do they do? They throw him out, and he, I guess he goes back to Sweden to face bullshit charges over there is what his future looks like. <sighs> it is depressing. Yeah, I th okay, this press conference is a bust. I'm not sure. I was watching it on the Guardian's uh, YouTube channel. I'm not sure what they're doing. Is roughly half one? Maybe they've got something that's... Nope, the event is over. I guess we missed it. Or it just never happened. All right, well, I just, uh, I wanted to talk about it. I think it's bullshit. Um, I think Ecuador is a little bitch nigga for bending the knee. All right, I'm talking to you. Was it President Lenin? Yeah, nice name. Bending the knee like a little bitch. Oh, I wonder what, how many good boy points did you get to do it? UK, just wrapping it up. All right, here's a year, here's a year in jail for whatever fucking reason, for bail evasion or whatever they came up with. And now we're going to extradite you to the U.S. because you taught Chelsea Manning how to super hack. What a load of shit. What a bullshit charge. And I would not be surprised. Call it a coincidence. Call it whatever you like. I would not be fucking surprised, based on those dates of those tweets and the amount of time in between them, if Manning hasn't rolled over on fucking Assange. And that's playing some role in why he's being arrested now and why he's being extradited to the U.S. under the charges that he's being indicted and extradited under. Bullshit. Complete bullshit. I don't I don't buy that uh, he he taught uh, Manning how to super hack. I don't buy that he was he was the super hacker behind it. 
I think he's a guy that gets classified information and then publishes it based on what he thinks its value is uh, for public discourse. I don't think uh, he's as the is pictured on screen right now. Some great super hacker out there doing it himself. Uh, uh, Julian Assange is not the black hat, you know, seeking revenge against world governments and teaching government agents how to fuck over the system. He's just the guy that publishes shit. I would keep your eye out for a dead man switches. Again, I don't know if information caches really exist. I don't know if they're really out there. I don't know what they really hold. But if they were going to be activated at any time, it seems right around now. So I wouldn't be surprised in the next 24 to maybe 72 hours. You see information start to be spread that's from that source. I also wouldn't be surprised if it's immediately expunged from the Internet. Just ripped right down from the Internet. And they can do it. Who's going to fucking stop them? What site's going to say no? They will <laughs> fuck you right in the ass. they they're going to comply. So if you see it, read it while you can. Uh, what is it that CNN reporter said? Oh, no, no, it's illegal to read this information. You need to let us read it for you. That's the fucking mentality that's out there. If you don't see it with your own eyes, don't believe it. Have a fucking wonder... <laughs> what a way to start a day! Have a wonderful Thursday morning. As everything goes to shit. Just fucking magical. Yeah, I, I, people in chat saying pray for the dead man switch. Hopefully there's a dead man switch. I really don't know if there is. There was some weird controversy that came out where he had keys up or something like that. And then the hash chat. I don't know all this shit, but something about it was wrong. It was altered and changed from what it always had been. And people were speculating it had been tampered with. So I, I, I don't fucking know. But if Assange really did have secret information cached away and hidden for use on a rainy day, there is no better rainy day than today. Or within the next few days. Um, I don't think that they're going to let him go. I don't know what they're going to do to him to get information. I don't know how he's going to be treated. But I'd, I'd be paying close attention if you're somebody that's ever given information to WikiLeaks. Um, now is the time to be extra cautious and really pay attention to what's happening. And I, again, I wouldn't be surprised if Manning maybe did roll over on him. Wild speculation, I have no proof for it. Just the coincidental timing of those two tweets. We'll see how it, uh, how it plays out. Me, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna drown my fucking tears in video games and anime, and hope the bad stuff goes away, and hope I can enjoy the internet for at least, let's say, another year or two before it's all just pure shit. Can we get maybe just another year or two out of it before they completely ruin it for everyone? I mean, I know the Europeans are gonna be fucked really early, and the Australians are getting fucked along with the New Zealanders right now because of the Tarrant thing, and I'm sure the U.S. is up on the chopping block and. Asia's already locked down under China. So, I, you know, I, just another year or two where I can laugh at funny cat videos on YouTube and call people faggots on comments before I have to uh, be have everything sanitized and put in a little box and told to comply. That's our future. That's the future of the Internet. <laughs> we lost. How is that for a, a happy morning? We lost. These fucks have won. They took it by force because they got embarrassed in 2016. And they're just fucking it up for everybody. And just the timeline of events, every, you know, somebody was talking about accelerationism. Well, I mean, you have your wish. Everything is very likely accelerating. Uh, they're becoming more and more uh, into controlling things. So I'm just going to go back to my little corner of the Internet while it's still got a little bit uh, of shelter left to it. I'm going to enjoy my cat videos and my anime and my video games. Uh, I, I guess listen to the band as the fucking ship sinks. As they play us out one last time. And then prepare myself for the conversations I'll be having in 10 to 20 years where I explain to people, Oh no, no, you don't understand. Back in the day on the internet, you could be anonymous. Back in the day on the internet, you could call somebody a faggot and police wouldn't show up at your doorstep. Oh no, that really did happen. Yeah, no, can you believe it? It's amazing. Now, if you excuse me, I need to report for my penis inspection. <laughs>